Hi everyone, I'm Pat Prokop. Today is Saturday, August the 3rd, and I'm out here in the Heavenly Backyard Garden where essential rainfall is great for garden growth, and particularly if it's spread out over time and evenly uh, dispersed uh, throughout the uh, uh, days of the week. However, too much rain could be detrimental not just to the gardens, but also to the rivers and the lakes and the roadways and the trees. And it looks like this storm brewing in the Gulf of Mexico most likely will become Tropical Storm Debbie, perhaps even potential Hurricane Debbie over the weekend going into next week, and then moves into southeast Georgia and southern South Carolina with detrimental rains. Yeah, it looks like it's going to be extremely heavy rains across our area. How much rain? Well, we're talking that more than a foot of rain possible, maybe even up to 20 inches of rain. Really? Let's take a look at the maps. All right, let's take a look at the satellite imagery first of all. There's the storm over here in the uh, uh, western portions of Cuba off the Florida Keys. It looks like the center of rotation now is just moving into the northern, off the northern tip of western portions of Cuba. And looking at the enhanced view, uh, there you can see a large area of thunderstorms and heavy convection to the south of Cuba and then also to the north. It looks like the circulation, again, is right around in this area here, and it seems to be getting a little bit better organized. I would imagine by late this afternoon, early evening, uh, this will be deemed Tropical Storm Debbie. Meanwhile, let's take a look at the National Hurricane Center website, and there you can see the path that it's forecast. This is from the 11 o'clock advisory. A new advisory will be coming out at 5 o'clock, about two hours from now, uh, when I'm recording this video. Uh, and uh, there it almost becomes a hurricane as it makes uh, landfall perhaps uh, in the Big Bend area of Florida and then moves across uh, southeastern Georgia as a strong tropical storm perhaps exiting off the coast just east of um, the Hinesville uh, Liberty County area southeast east southeast of Savannah and then moving back inland later on on Thursday into just around the Beaufort South Carolina area so this system is going to be hanging around for several days and the main problem with this system will be this the rains that will be associated with uh, this system now this is the forecast map from the National Hurricane Center and the Weather Prediction Center showing how much rainfall is expected. This is based on last night's data. It's not based on today's data. And I'm going to show you today's data in just a minute. But also this orange area here, that is anywhere between 8 to 12 inches of rain. The yellow area is 4 to 6 inches. And uh, uh, the green area is uh, 1 to 2 inches, to up to 3 to 4 inches of rain uh, there. So very heavy rains across southeastern Georgia. Now, if the system moves a little bit further westward, this heavier rains will be also shifting westward. And it looks like that might just be the case. Let's take a look at some of the uh, forecast um, uh, models, first of all. So here's the global forecast system, the United States model. And it shows the storm getting strength, moving into the Big Bend area of Florida, then moving across southeastern Georgia, then slows down and just meander, meanders across our region throughout the next couple of days into Tuesday and Wednesday, then begins to pull out on Thursday, still dumping very heavy rains across our region. What about the, uh, uh, the Canadian model? That's a good model, too. I have it right over here. There it is. And it's basically showing the same thing, except a little bit further westward, it looks like. Uh, but still, it shows it a very intense storm uh, with very heavy rains pushing across Georgia. It also stalls it out into southeastern Georgia and southern Georgia, then slowly pulls it out uh, by the end of the week. So it's going to be here all week long, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. We may see periods of very heavy rains with strong gusty winds associated with this thunder and lightning, too. Uh, but mostly the concern will be the rain. And how much rain? Well, according to these models, let's go back to the uh, uh, global forecast model. That's uh, right here. And there it shows extremely heavy rains across southeastern Georgia and southern South Carolina. This golden area here, that's 12 to 20 inches of rain. Unbelievable, 12 to 20 inches of rain. The uh, uh, magenta purple area here, that's six to seven, eight inches of rain. And the uh, uh, lighter area here, uh, that's uh, two to four inches of rain. So there you can see very heavy rains associated with this system from the general forecast model. And then looking at the um, 
uh, the Canadian model. I have that data right here. Where is it? Right there. And uh, again, it, it has a little bit further westward. It has extremely heavy rains across central Georgia into the central Savannah River area over in the coast of Hilton Head and Beaufort uh, on the coast of upper portions of southeastern Georgia. And of course, the, uh, the central of the Florida um, panhandle with very heavy rains, we're looking at you know, again, 15 to 20 inches of rain, perhaps, out of this system from uh, Sunday through Thursday. Uh, extremely heavy rains. This will be known as a, a flooding type tropical system. Uh, the winds won't be bad. I mean, there, there's going to be some wind, but it's going to be the rain that's focusing on this system. Looking at the, um, again, the forecast for excessive rainfall, this goes without saying, uh, on Monday, uh, it has the southeastern Georgia and eastern South Carolina all under excessive rainfall potential uh, for uh, very heavy rains to be moving. Uh, flash flooding is a widely expected across these regions. And this is just for Monday. Was, this will be going into Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday as well. Going back to my weather and nature uh, website, uh, ac uh, website savannapath.name, uh, there you got uh, great information for uh, the uh, uh, storm. And also on my Facebook page, if you uh, would like to join my, uh, follow my Facebook page, Pat Prokop's Weather and Nature page on Facebook, and I put a lot of great information on there as well. And you can leave your comments, like a lot of people have, a lot of comments uh, coming in, uh, so that's good. Uh, so please leave your comments. All right, let's go back outside. I'll tell you what, it's humid out there. Look at my shirt. 20 inches of rain, is that even possible? Well, yes it is. I remember several years ago, uh, actually just a few years ago, in northern South Carolina, uh, they had over 20 inches of rain. And uh, back in the 90s, I think, 1990s, somewhere around there, uh, a tropical depression moved in across southern Texas and parked itself there and dumped 44 inches of rain in that state. It could happen, and the potential is uh, right there for this to happen again across our area. It all depends on how fast this storm moves. So be ready for potential uh, very heavy rains across our area, particularly through Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, perhaps even into Thursday. Also, I'd like to give thanks to those who have supported my Weather and Nature YouTube channel. And uh, uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. And you can help with this channel if you would like. You don't have to. Uh, you know, by, you know, joining my Patreon page, joining this channel, uh, buy me a cup of coffee or give a super thanks. All the information below uh, right there in the description area. Meanwhile, get ready for some very heavy rains. Winds are going to be an issue too, but not so much. It's going to be the rain that's going to cause the problems with Tropical System Debbie. Thanks for watching, and I'll keep you posted throughout the weekend and early next week uh, about this storm and as it affects our area. Bye.